Natural selection didn't leave anything about us up to chance. Every facial feature, the shape of our bones and internal organs has only developed exactly the way that it has because of the adaptive advantage it gave our ancestors. Take the eyebrows, for example. They don't seem to give much of an advantage in survival and reproduction, even if shaving them off would certainly make it a little more difficult to get dates. They have the important function of preventing sweat and debris from entering the eyes that could impede vision in potentially life-threatening situations. Even if it provided only a minuscule advantage compared to eyebrow-less ancestors, on an evolutionary timescale, the propagation of the eyebrow gene was swift and is now omnipresent in the gene pool. And when it comes to parts of the body that today serve no longer any function, such as the tailbone or the appendix, there is still an evolutionary explanation for their existence. The tailbone helped our ancestors with mobility and balance, and the appendix probably helped with digesting foods rich in cellulose. So you may ask, what evolutionary advantage has consciousness provided us with? I suppose as a Darwinian I'm committed to the view that since we are conscious, there must have been a Darwinian survival value in it. That an unconscious, intelligent robot wouldn't do the job as well as a conscious one, which is what we are. One could easily imagine an unconscious organism that natural selection develops into an ever more complex animal that has all the necessary abilities to escape from predators, find food, and create offspring. As of yet, there is no law of nature that says it's impossible to create a being that can do everything a human can without there being a conscious observer within. A possible explanation for the function that consciousness serves is that it's necessary for intentional actions. It is widely believed that when you pick up a glass of water, for example, it's your consciousness that causes the movement of the hand. This makes intuitive sense, because every intentional action is preceded by a conscious decision to do so. Recent experiments in neuroscience have given us a more accurate picture of what is actually going on. In a 2013 study, participants were shown two numbers and instructed to either subtract or add them together and press a buzzer in the moment of making the decision to either add or subtract. The whole experiment was conducted inside an fMRI machine, so the activity of different brain regions could be measured as the decision-making process was taking place in the minds of the participants. It turned out that the scientists could reliably predict whether they were going to add or subtract four seconds before even the participants were aware of what they were going to do. So it's not only that it's possible to predict their behavior, but even to predict the intentional thought before it appeared in the consciousness of the participant. Since then, other studies have shown similar results. It seems that consciousness is simply along for the ride, as a passive observer, that we could do totally without. There must have been a survival value in being conscious, says Richard Dawkins. Is that really the case? Must there always be a survival value to everything? Isn't there the possibility of it being an evolutionary byproduct? Maybe someone in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like consciousness might be one such example. Like for instance, the whiteness of our bones neither provides an advantage nor disadvantage. But it's simply the case that whiteness is a necessary effect of selecting for bone made of calcium. Maybe consciousness is just a byproduct of brain processing, but not in itself doing anything. Mm -hmm.